This brief video is a two-dimensional animation of the Bettis Electrohydraulic Operator EHO schematic. This is the theory of operation for the opening sequence of the Bettis EHO. The process descriptions in the top left identify the component numbers that correspond to the schematic diagram. The opening solenoid valve is energized, opening a path to the hydraulic cylinder of the G-series actuator and the thermal compensating accumulator. The accumulator pushes fluid through the manifold into the actuator. As fluid fills the actuator, the pressure in the system drops. When the pressure falls below the pressure switch set point, the motor starts operating the gear pump to continue pumping hydraulic fluid. When the actuator reaches the end of the stroke, the accumulator solenoid valve de-energizes. The motor continues to operate the gear pump until the actuator is refilled with hydraulic fluid, causing the pressure in the system to rise. When the pressure in the system reaches the pressure switch set point, the accumulator is filled and the motor shuts off. The opening sequence is now complete. The accumulator is recharged and ready to be used for the next opening sequence. This is the theory of operation for the closing sequence of the Bettis EHO. The closing solenoid valve is energized. The high pressure fluid flows out of the actuator's hydraulic cylinder through the closing solenoid valve and into the reservoir. Once in the closed position, the closing solenoid valve de energizes. The closing sequence is now complete. This is the theory of operation for the manual hand pump sequence of the Bettis EHO. The manual hand pump is used when the actuator has lost power and the accumulator is not charged. First, close the hand pump isolation valve. Next, manually operate the hand pump handle to cause high pressure fluid to flow out of the hand pump into the hydraulic cylinder of the actuator. Once in the open position, push in the hand pump bypass to relieve pressure trapped in the hand pump valve. Caution! The hand pump isolation valve must be opened back up or it will inhibit operation and ESD functionality. This is the theory of operation for the emergency shutdown ESD sequence of the Bettis EHO. The emergency shutdown sequence is triggered by the loss of an ESD signal and or main power supply. The ESD solenoid valve is de-energized. The high pressure fluid flows out of the hydraulic piston through the ESD solenoid valve to the reservoir. Once in the fail-safe position, the ESD solenoid valve stays de-energized until ESD signal is reintroduced.